Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 290. My name's Ryan, I'm joined by my brother Chris and our good pal Katrin. We are back. Yo. I think everybody's, as I start to call, everybody's <laughs> maybe healthy. We've been sure. we, I was down <laughs> sick, so we but we're we're back. We're we're doing Great. good. We're happy to be back. It's been a been a couple of weeks, I think, just because of sickness and holidays and all that stuff. But we're back with some epic stuff to talk about. Wow. Epic, you say? Oh, oh epic. Just you know, hit that, you know, button. <laughs> epic. <laughs> <laughs> Cajun has this That's new setup epic. where he's got all this these buttons yes. that he just likes to press. So who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? You never know. Even he doesn't know. He could boo us out of the building anytime he wants to. No, no, wouldn't do that. He's going to right now. As soon as I start talking. Anyways, <laughs> so tonight we thought we would. Next time we have some guests coming on, as long as everything lines up, should be yes. a guest. So we thought. Since we've been away for a while, we thought we'd play some catch up. Um, I was gonna mustard. mustard. Yeah. yeah, maybe a little barbecue sauce. Yeah, and and just talk about some of the crazy stuff going on, the geeky stuff coming out, the announcements and everything in the theme park world and beyond, and just have some have some fun chats. Maybe hmm. you know, say what we like about it, say how we would do it. Maybe. Um, Maybe say what we don't like about it. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. Going to be geeky? I don't know. (laughs) It's going to be. Sure. (laughs) Anyways, so a lot of news has come out. Like a lot since 2024 has started as far as Disney, Universal, Marvel, Star Wars. Yep. Not a ton of Star Wars. A little bit of Star Wars. Just a little bit. We've got Bad Batch coming out soon. Yeah. We do have that. That's not news, but yeah, something. It's it's not news. <laughs> it's the final season. Yeah. The, but the, the biggest, the... I think, the biggest news is pretty mm-hmm. epic. Is that epic? The first time since 1999. <laughs> Remember that year? Yes. It's it's a fog. I yeah. Know. The first I time mean, since 1990. We partied like it was 1999. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, there's a lot of party in that year. Uh, oh, man. The first time since 1999, a new theme park is going to be opening in Orlando, Florida. Islands of Adventure opened in 1999. Animal Kingdom opened in 1998. So it's been since the 90s, since a new theme park. Now, Universal in, technically calls in States, Volcano right? in Orlando. Yeah, in Orlando. Um, mm-hmm. I gotcha. think... Universal calls Volcano Bay or whatever Volcano Bay, yeah. a theme park, but that's a sure. water park. Come on, it's a water. Park. It's a water park. It doesn't count. It's got water in it. It's got if it's got if it's like ninety percent water rides, it's not a theme park. Mm. It's just a water park. It's a water park. Yeah, it's a place to go get wet. Which I haven't been. I really want to go. It looks fun. I do like my water parks. I haven't got mm-hmm. to go in since having kids. I don't think. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you guys have... And plus, the, the ones in Disney have been closed or were yeah. closed for like uh, quite a long time, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Since 2020. Yeah. But they're open now. They, but they are, I believe they mm-hmm. are open, yeah. Yeah. One you of them may be down right now for, you know, their annual... One of, yeah, I think one of them opened. I don't think both of them. Yeah. I, don't so know. I know Blizzard yeah, Beach is open. Feel free to go and go down a, a slide right into a giant toilet. That'd be great. What? You talking about the cruise ships? What are you talking about? No, just just water parks in general. <laughs> oh no! Surely no. you're not saying that people like use the bathroom in the water. Oh no, never. Oh okay, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's not allowed. It's in the rules. Oh, yeah. got it. Sorry. All the water they've will got, turn green that, around. They've them. got that sign where it says "Welcome to our Ool." Notice, Notice there's, there's no, no pee in, no in, in it. Keep it yeah, yeah, please same. keep it that way. They're so clever. So, it's, so this is pretty. I mean, this is pretty big news because it's 2024 and a theme park has not opened in Orlando. Yeah, since 1999. That's pretty cool. It's a it's, major uh-huh. theme park, probably. Yeah, yeah, a major. I mean, yeah. I can't think of it, any kind of theme park that's. When did 
When did Legoland open? Well, that's technically not in Orlando. That's true. <laughs> it's in Winter <laughs> Winter Park or what is it called? White ha- Winter Haven. It's that yeah. took over a, a, di- a different park, pretty much. Yeah. They bought um, Cypress Gardens and switched yeah. it to Legoland. Yeah, that's true. Wow. So never mind. I don't know when that opened, but it's not Orlando. I guess. It's not Orlando. It's like, yeah, it's a little ways away. <laughs> We've been. It's fun. So anyway, they, they speaking of Legoland though, they are opening a new uh, attraction. It's the Ferrari attraction at Legoland. So Ooh. it's about cars and things that you can build. So there you go. <laughs> <You're prepared. laughs> I'm going to sit here and watch me build this Ferrari logo. It, yeah, and there's parts <laughs> of cars and all that. So never mind. <laughs> so the 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 tagline for Open Universe, and we're going to go through some of this and then give our thoughts on it, is five immersive worlds. One amazing theme park. Mm. You think that we're like jabbing at Disney World <laughs> a little bit there? Instead of calling it Five Amazing Lands, or like well, we got five five amazing worlds in one theme park. We're that. Cool. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it, it's it's epic. You can't go land. You gotta go world. You gotta go world. Mm. You gotta go big. Not a land. It's not like mm. Frontier Land, Tomorrowland. It's a world of possibilities. It's epic. The cool thing that I, I like that they're they're using the um, it's really the design that was started by I guess Disney the sort of the the spokes the wheel wheel and spokes yeah, yeah so basically yeah. you have the celestial park is what they're calling it where you enter and then mm-hmm. off from there you're going to have portals that lead to the different worlds that, yeah transition you into the other worlds right. right? So, mm-hmm. so like in California, they have the Nintendo world there and there's like a pipe that you go through like in the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming they're going to do something like that for each of these portals where it yeah. immerses mm-hmm. you into the next world. And it's just not like yes. walking yeah. under a, a thing. Now, does it break down your atoms and then reassemble them mm-hmm. on the other side? Or does it like do like a copy to where like... <laughs> No, nope, it's just screens. A copy, so maybe the old copy possibly dies. No, nope. if it is, and but then it's, reborn it's not that copy. epic. It's just screens. Oh. Just screens. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry. They make it. But look they do. Like- from from the images, it it is this like round entrance, like you're going yeah. in through a, a tube, and it's there's some sort of transition. So it's it's a cool idea. I mean, it allows you to do right. different things that aren't related, and yeah. you're transitioning to these other worlds yes worlds and so far it looks like i mean they're not done with construction of course no but from the pictures i've seen it looks like they're trying to stay pretty true to the concept art as far as yeah. how stuff's laid out what it looks like whereas our other friends over at disney when they put out concept art and then they put out the actual <laughs> thing they're like Where, where's the concept art for this oh that's nothing like what we got epcot for example <laughs> the concept art they put out for their big lush area turned into uh, a statue of Walt and some picnic tables, pretty much, right? From what womp, I could tell. Womp. <laughs> yeah, womp womp, oh. right. And there you go. <laughs> yeah. Got it. But with the first time that they've announced <laughs> the, the world, the Celestial Park, it looks like they are doing that. They're putting, as they say, they're putting the park back in theme park, and it looks like lots of plants, big fountains. Mm-hmm. Nothing Hun- like Epcot, though, right? It, it looks way better. Um, <laughs> it does, but it's it's like very reminiscent of Epcot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I guess the fountain, the big fountain, yes. which Epcot Interactive. took out their big fountain. Gotta have this, a fountain. This <laughs> fountain, it, there's going to be a main fountain and the water is going to go up to like 135 feet tall like we'll shoot up in the air and there'll be like shows daytime shows and nighttime shows with the with the big huge mountain they also have a, a splash area too i think that's what you're yeah like a splash zone. but they're having this big fountain that's going to have like their nighttime show and daytime shows that you can gather around in the park and, and they watch. don't know where the water is going to land it's going to go up but they just don't know it's, just, it's going, to, it's going to go all the way over to Epcot and they're going to be like, we're spitting on you. <laughs> uh, but Celestial Park, it's not just the hub. 
it's also going to have rides, which is cool. So this is one of their mm-hmm. worlds. It's going to have a dueling coaster, the Starfall Racers mm. roller coasters. So it's going to be two coasters side by side, like you're racing through stars. I don't know. And it's going to have a. <laughs> it's going to have one of those rides that every theme park has to have now, the Whirl and Twirl type ride. Yes. Yeah, you gotta have it. Your favorite. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna have some fine diamond dining at Atlantic Undersea Adventure. Uh big Nintendo superstore there. For some reason, it's gonna be at the front of the park. I guess they'll have well, one. It's, yeah, I mean yeah. people leave in there. Like, yeah, they gotta hit them up in the last Yeah. Place. I mean, usually they have like at the front of the park, they'll have a store that has like all the stuff in it, but I guess it's just gonna be Nintendo. And yeah. then they're gonna have uh the Blue Dragon Pan Asian restaurant, and that's gonna be social park. Mm-hmm. So that's the only world that we know in depth what I was gonna be in it. Right. Mm. But there's four more. Wow. Ooh, plus a hotel. Plus a hotel, the Universal Hel- Helos. Helios. And it's going to have views of the park. So you're when you look out yeah. your window, you can see the park. I yeah. don't know if they're going to have balconies or just windows. Um, and then I think there's a uh, private entrance if you're staying at wow. the hotel to get into the yeah, park. Yeah, I want to stay there. Yeah. 500 rooms. Mm-hmm. So... Oh, not huge, but mm-hmm. big. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure it's going to be really expensive. It's going to be expensive. Yeah, yeah it's going to be expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, but, okay, so then, so let's list these other areas. So I think Chris is going to be excited about this one. Hmm. Maybe. Which one? Um, how to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. Yeah. So, do you think this is a good choice, a weird choice? Uh, no, I think it's a, I think it's a good choice. Um, that's it's one of their more popular franchises, um, which they still are doing stuff with. They've got uh, the live action movie planned uh, for it as well. Um, so it's not like they, it's like a property like maybe like Shrek or something that they haven't done mm-hmm. anything in a while. Um, it's it's a little bit more current and and all the movies have been have been good. I don't think I disliked any of them. Um, and plus they've got like TV series that they've done yeah. several things with. So I, th- I think it's a good choice. Uh, I think it's a good because especially if you want to pick like one property that's going to be like more for kids. Yeah, that's gonna be it and stuff. <laughs> I think I think that that I think that's a good choice out of. All and the time. rides, from what we can tell, look like they're going to be kids' rides, like geared towards <laughs> kids. Yeah, probably. We don't know much about it. We've just seen an aerial shot of one of those, for lack of a better term, carnival rides. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where you're like on the drag on a dragon, kind of yeah. going in a circle or something. Yeah, yeah. which another ride that <laughs> not for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't ask me about it. They just picked one of those rides. Um, I don't know why they would ask me. So more merch for for your, you and your wife to buy. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're toothpaste, fans probably. of. Yeah, we're, we're fans of. So we're excited about of. that. Yeah, yeah. Our, our Tesla every Halloween we have a we have a toothless costume that we put on it for the kids. Maybe they'll bring you down for the opening. Man, I think so. I think they should. Like, have bring you not gotten a call already? <laughs> or yeah maybe i have already got a call he can't talk about it he can't talk about it can you take a guess, you take yeah. guess? <laughs> maybe maybe not i don't know blink twice if yes <laughs> if i'm being held hostage no, he blinked yeah. once. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> all right so then we got that then we got uh super nintendo world which is going to be the largest nintendo world i think mm. made because it's going to have yeah. three rides Probably restaurants, shops, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. taking what they've done and expanding on it. Yeah, so it's going to have the Mario Kart ride, which is Bowser's whatever challenge. Mm-hmm. Is it going to have the Yoshi ride? Not sure. Uh, I know there's going to have Donkey a Donkey Kong, Kong roller coaster. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I mean, a Donkey Kong roller coaster makes perfect sense. I mean, the the when we played like Donkey Kong Country, yeah. it was like they need to make that a ride. That'd be so fun. I guess they are. <laughs> so again, not much information out about any of these, but yeah, it's going to be well, bigger than LA. They sure. they did. There is like a um, or like one of those, like 
things that they put out that I guess they put in a permit for or something or whatever um, for the Donkey Kong ride where it looks like when you're on the ride, it'll look like you're jumping tracks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like your actual track will be underneath you and it'll look like you're on a track, but like, so it'll look like you're yep. actually like going jumping through air track. and jumping tracks. That'd People cool. freak out and they'll oh, jump out of the vehicle. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll close it down. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. Then we have Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. Can we fit any more Wizarding World words into it? <laughs> so they're calling it the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic, but it's going to take place in Fantastic Beasts and, and the Ministry uh, Fantastic Beasts Paris and the Ministry of Magic. So, yeah, so it's like they're combining two. They're like, which do we want to do? Let's do both. I feel like after what happened with Fantastic Beasts, that originally I think it was supposed to just be Fantastic Beasts. And then with it not doing as good as they wanted to, which was sort of their own fault because they kept changing the cast and all kinds <laughs> of stuff, uh, they're like, well, let's just loosely base it off that and make it more ministry and magic and we'll throw in some Paris from the 1920s. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I think it's a good choice to do kind of two different things. Like, I don't think they could have done everything off of Fantastic Beasts and they definitely couldn't have done everything with just ministry and magic. So just doing both, I think, gives them a lot more that they can work yeah. with. <laughs> Yeah. But there's no Harry Potter, right? Well, yeah. It's an expansion of... The no, no, no. Like I'm saying, it's, like, it's not, not going to be in that time period at all. Gotcha. I, I, don't, I don't know if they've really set a time period for the Ministry of Magic part of it. They did, like, yeah. with the with the Fantastic yeah. Beasts. I think they said, like, 1920s or whenever that's supposed to take place. Yeah, I sort of wish yeah. that they just kept it the same time period as Harry Potter because then you have in each park you could technically go from Diagon Alley to Hogwarts to Ministry of Magic and it's all in the same time period hmm. so it makes hmm. sense but whatever they do whatever they want to I think again they were thinking that Fantastic Beasts was going to be as popular as Harry Potter so originally this land was just going to or this world was just going to be <laughs> Fantastic Beasts, so they pivoted. So we'll, we'll have to say they they did announce they're like there's going to be a ride, but they said we're not going to tell you about the ride because it's too big of a surprise. Hmm. Yes. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, because they don't have it worked out yet. Nope. <laughs> we're still working on it. We know there's going to be a ride. Yeah, there probably has some. No crazy thing imagined for it and planned for it but they still haven't figured out how it's going to work or if it's going to yeah. work so if they were to say what it was and it didn't come out then you're all everybody's mad right so you know just like disney yeah yeah so they they learned they learned <laughs> from, disney. from other people's <laughs> mistakes and it's fine you know no, what's it going to matter if they tell us now you know it's like people are still going to be excited either and, way and it could be it could be a very complex Ride yeah. that they they don't want to show sure. too early. Yeah, because then because like, Disney's are breaking. <laughs> yeah, Disney's like uh, we're gonna do something. So if they see this, they're like, oh, we can do that. And we can do it better. You know, whatever. So yeah, it's funny though how Disney and Universal announce things. Universal will wait and announce like we're having this big epic park, and Disney's like we may be doing <laughs> something. Blue sky. We're putting behind some money in there. Land. What's behind, <laughs> what's beyond frontier land? I don't know. Maybe something. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, uh, beyond the frontier. I don't. I something. mean, isn't that the, the whole point? Is like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's on the edge. It's the frontier. Well, the frontier. Yeah. There's back there. nothing out there. You gotta right. find it. You better. <laughs> you just wait and see. We got something. Back there. Anyways, and then the last world will be Dark Universe. Now, yes. I'm excited about this one. But after reading the description, 
I'm going to be honest. Mm. Huh? A little Let's less, ex- a little less excited about it. After reading. Because when they said Dark Universe and they said basically the Universal Monsters, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, that's cool. We're going to get, like, they're going to make it. Like, I was, here's what I was thinking. Like, maybe some of it's, like, going to look like you're in black and white. Like, it's going to look like the old school monsters, Dracula, Wolfman, maybe Creature from the Black Lagoon, maybe, um, you know, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, all this stuff. Fan of the Opera, one of the classics. Fan of the Opera, yeah. <laughs> like the classics. I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. Like, wouldn't it be cool if they like had like a black and white ride? Everything was like in black and white. Yeah. So it'd be cool. I mean, that'd but be then, easy. We're like, oh, we don't we don't even paint this. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then <clears throat> the description came out about it. And it said from the experiments of Dr. Victoria Frankenstein to a shadowy landscape where monsters roam, dark universe is a world of myth and mystery. Who's Victoria Frankenstein? It's a new character. Let's just see. Victoria Von Frankenstein is a Marvel character. It's Frankenstein. <laughs> it's not Frankenstein. It's pronounced Frankenstein. Sorry. So I guess they're doing the let's update all the Universal Monsters route, which to me, I'm, it's probably going to sp- still be good because I still think galaxy's edge is one of my favorite places to go at disney world or in the orlando area so it's still gonna be good okay but you think they would have looked at galaxy's edge and be like oh so the people really wanted like original trilogy but they gave them something else maybe we should give them original monsters no 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 so, let's make them new yeah I, I think they're just doing the what i know just, what they're trying to make it in modern day i and, know and that's, i wasn't uh, but again like i was saying with the with star wars a lot of people want original trilogy or that type of Star Wars. We don't want modern day Star Wars or we don't want. So to me with Universal Monsters, because I love the Universal Monsters, I want the original Universal Universal Monsters. I don't want modernized Lisa Frankenstein or whatever, you know? I just I, I want young Frankenstein. That's what well, yeah, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> so like like the yeah, so they did some of the Houses, the haunted houses at Horror Nights. They did some of the Universal Monsters. So yeah. mm-hmm. we'll see. Maybe they'll pull from those. Mm-hmm. It, it's going to be fun either way. I was just like thinking, oh, cool. Like, you know, just like How, how to Train Your Dragon. It's going to be the characters from How You Train Your Dragon. Not like <laughs> uh, instead of Toothless, it's going to be Full of Teeth Dragon or something. You know, no. it's not, at the, at the it's, same time. I mean, they're 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 probably thinking ahead with um some of these characters because i mean if you look at like steamboat willie now uh that's uh free to use yeah. Yeah. uh with like some of these old characters some of them could be free to use now coming up soon uh so they're trying to like revamp it so where they can have like full claim on these characters that they're doing I and you won't be having a bunch of merch out there that people are hawking so they could they could be thinking that route. But that's not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you want. I know. They're trying really, to make, been, it really does. Been, it's all about I've, money. It's all about how we can make the most money and how they can make the most mm-hmm. money is by making new reimagined characters because then they'll have the rights to those and can make as much money as they want and nobody can make money off of them. Well, I, I bet they'll still have like like Frankenstein's monster the monster is still is sometimes like some monster. Type, so, yeah. so my and guess wolf man will still be a wolf man dragon hey, could be like lemur man you never know <laughs> my guess about this victoria <laughs> frankenstein is that okay this is a play that was in 2017 they talked about where it was an adaptation of the book right my guess is that there's probably a movie in the works that they could possibly picked up and we just haven't heard anything about or something yeah. you know and, and then so they're already ready and it's well, what know, if the movie bombs well, too bad yeah well they've been trying to get their dark universe movies going yeah. for a number of years now with little success so and why did they and okay let's talk about that why do you think it it did not succeed <laughs> uh tom cruise uh, 
Maybe it well, did not I mean, succeed because they didn't I, use the original monsters. They're like, let's switch well, they, everything Dracula around. Dracula Untold, they did. Uh, and I actually liked Dracula Untold. I, yeah. thought, it was, I thought it was a fun movie. It just it was... didn't do well at the box office. Um, the Mummy was, yeah, it was, eh. Uh, because no, they were just it. trying to do too much um, in that movie, I think. It's hard when you uh, have a Brenda Fraser Mummy to follow that up. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's difficult because that's so good. Uh, oh, very good. The, so, have you all seen the the pictures of the Frankenstein Tavern? No. Yeah. So there's a picture, and it's like this really cool gothic looking tavern thing that's oddly shaped and all this. Um, but th- this article says, uh, "Portal archways install Frankenstein Tavern revealed test dummies on Yoshi's adventure." During okay. Epic Universe construction, so it is Yoshi, Yoshi says. <laughs> Again, I'm looking forward to Dark Universe. That's the one I'm looking yeah. forward to the most. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't. I, I like my classic monsters being classic monsters. That's just me. But are those too scary <laughs> for a theme park? I know you said like Halloween Horror Nights. They've got it, but is it so, for a day to day? So, Frank, so Victoria Frankenstein is going to be like <laughs> what, mom next door. Hey kids. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Come on over. I want to show you something now, amazing. The doctor is not Franken's is not the monster. No, no, yeah, no. Right. But the doctor is going to be like, "Hey, kids, yeah. come over. I bake some cookies, and I made something special in the basement. <laughs> come on yeah. over and take a look. I call I mean, it my monster. <laughs> Drake is going to be more like Bunnicula, where you're just <laughs> sucking on tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's color out of fruits and veggies. <laughs> you brought up kids, though. It's interesting because. When you think of Universal Parks, you don't think of mm, kids, I guess. Yeah. You think of more true. teenagers. Yeah, true. So Universal mm-hmm. is like the you graduated from Disney and now you're going to Universal. Now you're going to Universal. Yeah. 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 And if That's you look true. at the lands, like but maybe they're trying to open it up more because, like you said, the uh, the the How to Train Your Dragon Land is looks like kitty rides, right? And that's not well, that's something yeah, that they have. Rides, yeah. But so they just, when did they just leave their kids the, there and then they go to Dark Universe. When yes. did How to Train Your Dragon come out? <laughs> what year? It seems like a long 2010? time. 2010? Yes. Mm. 2010, I think. Release <laughs> date, March 21st, 2010. Wow. So, if you think about the age of people that the probably people, saw that movie, yeah. they'd be older. But, if you think about the people that would like Mario or Nintendo World, but all that stuff is that's really our age, right? But all that stuff is renewed, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you think about Wizarding Wizarding World, Dragon, they're making newer people stuff. People right? that that yeah. really were into Wizarding World, they would be older now. Hey. Dark Universe, of course, they would be older. So, yes, there's going to be like kids' elements, but a lot of this is geared towards people older. Well, the, right? the rides because, we've seen so they're far taking are, their kids now. Yeah. We're like, oh, mm-hmm. you want to, you know, Harry Potter? You want to come check it out? I I read this when I was a kid, yeah. Because yeah, now you can say that with the age that Harry Potter is. <laughs> I read this when I was a kid, and now I want my kids to read it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I played Mario when I was a kid. I want my kids to play Mario. So all this stuff. So yes, I think it's still. I think like yeah. Magic Kingdom, Disney, st- kids, family, kids, mm-hmm. and Universal. As I said, you know, we're gonna own it. You know, we're gonna gear our stuff more up in age. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but, I was the wolf man when I was a kid. So I mean <laughs> that's still right. are on certain yeah. times of the month. But could mm-hmm. they be trying to change it a little bit just so that they pull some of that crowd over? I think that yeah, I think they want to pull some of that crowd mm-hmm. over and and the, and the rides like in yeah. Train Your Dragon will reflect that. But then yeah. and in Nintendo World will reflect that. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I, you also have like the, I, there will be a mixture I, I yeah. think, for kids and adults. For sure. Yeah, I mean that the one ride where they're chasing each other that's definitely more intense than just a kid. Yeah. It's not a kiddie ride. So. <laughs> Cuz yeah, I was thinking about earlier, I was thinking about um what brought it up? There's something about cosplaying. And I was thinking about um our age. I don't know what made me think of it. But I was thinking about our age, like our our wives probably aren't going to do, don't cosplay much. My wife, <laughs> my wife. Um, 
especially my wife. I mean, but yes. there's a lot younger generation now where everybody just cosplays and they love it. So, um, hmm. where was I going with that? So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so that age where people where cosplay got big and stuff. That age is starting to get where they have full time jobs, they have a income, they have disposable income. If well, depending on the maybe not right now, <laughs> yeah, maybe not right now. But that, that time where you could be like, we got a new Harry Potter, and they're like, I grew up with Harry Potter. You know, I can go buy my robes. I can go to three different Harry Potter worlds now, so they can make. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, Universal by doing this is going to be able to to really cut in to Disney now. Sure. Mm-hmm. Because before it was like, I'll go on a Disney trip and we'll do one or two days of Universal. But now with three parks and a water park, it could be, I'll go on a Universal trip and I'll do a couple days at Disney. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's going to be the wars picking up here. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if any of that made sense, what I was saying about... I was trying to get to. There's a lot of no, people that are getting really. to the age, or yeah, that are fine. getting to the age now where, <laughs> where well, look, because look, look at my like our age when we grew when we grew up, it wasn't cool to be a Star Wars fan. It wasn't cool to be into Marvel. It wasn't cool to be all this stuff. But in today's world, it is cool to be a geek. It's cool to love Star Wars. If you go to a Star Wars convention or MegaCon that just happened. When you're walk or Comet Palooza, when we go, it's coming up. Is it just old dudes in costumes walking around? No, there's like ladies, there's men, everybody's in costumes because they all love this geeky stuff. So I'm usually around a couple old dudes that are dressed up. I know, but when we go, I'm just saying the people that (laughs) that are the main targets now are into all that stuff. Sure, but, but I, I we're think sort of we'll have main targets now because we're old. <laughs> yeah, I think that we'll have a, a kitty area in Dark Universe. Mm. I think it's just a, a werewolf petting zoo. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, the kids can go in there and pet a werewolf. I thought it was just going to be uh, uh, the Hansel and Gretel um, candy house experience where you send your children to the witch to eat candy all day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Come in, eat some candy. Stay for dinner. My dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you the baby black lagoon where the kids can just float. Mm-hmm. Baby floaties. Anyways. <laughs> so, which of the worlds are you looking most forward to? I am I, I, probably yeah, all of them. I'm probably looking forward to most of the Dark Universe. Um, yeah. Just because I, I, I love like all the old monster movies and stuff. Oh, they're not going to be there though. <laughs> but I mean, it's like, and I, I, like, and the new ones too. Like, I, I, I've always loved like a werewolf movie, um, uh, or like a vampire movie and stuff like that. So, I, I, and I, I'm, I'm really hoping that, yeah, just it's just going to be just so immersive. Like, it's just going to mm-hmm. look old world, like Transylvania, kind of thing to walk through, and I think that'll be cool. The other ones will be fun, but that's probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. Katrin? I want to say Mario, just because that's what I grew up with and what I've been most excited about. We've seen it a lot, though. That's the only thing. It's like I've seen it a lot, but um, I've not seen any of the Harry Potter stuff, so that's interesting to me. But maybe just the... You haven't seen... Wait, wait. You haven't the seen Harry, any of the movies? No, any of I'm talking about the lands. The okay. Seen any of the <laughs> oh, you haven't been to any of them? No. Oh, we got to go sometime. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like, no. Get your butter beer. It's just really cool. They, oh, they, I know. Yeah, I've, it's I've, just really cool to see. I'm yeah, sure it is, and I want to go. It's just we haven't gone. And, yeah. Um, so, but um, I don't know. They, just the opening land that is pretty Celestial cool. Celestial Park? Oh. Celestial Park. That's pretty cool. You know, uh, that, that restaurant that's like in the water right there that yeah. looks pretty cool. And 
Um, Patriots just gonna go and, and not go through any portals. I'm not gonna go he's through any gonna, portals. He's gonna sit in Celestial Park. <laughs> you all asked day. me which one I'm the most oh, excited about. I'm excited little, about Celestial. Get some popcorn. Like just sitting there feeding the birds. The, the thing I like about Celestial it Park is the it's, park back to theme. Yeah. Parks. Well, the thing I like about it, which I agree <laughs> with you, is that it's not just a hub. Yeah. It is a hub, but it also has rides. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. got. It's going to have a probably a really good roller coaster, and then a twirl thing. But uh, but a really good roller coaster. <laughs> but just to it's somewhere to go to hang out and look yeah. around. It looks pretty cool. So, mm-hmm. What about you, Ryan? Um, probably Dark Universe. I'm looking more because because I like the Universal Monsters a lot, and it's something different. You know, yeah. it hasn't mm-hmm. really been done. I mean, they've had Halloween Horror Nights. But they haven't had like, you know, there hasn't been like a Standing theme park. Theme yeah. park. They just yeah. they need they need to have a Beetlejuice state show. That's all they need. Yeah, That'd be nice. Now, and I am looking toward the more wizard, one. more wizarding world, just because how top notch the other two have been. Mm. Yeah, like I'm like this has got to be as top notch because I think they have to make it as top notch. So, and walking through the ministry and stuff, like I can't yeah. wait till my kids get old enough for harry potter because i really want to do like it's, it's 11 right and the it's when harry first goes when he turns 11 that's when he gets his letter that's so I, right yeah. so i sort of want to wait until you know a son turns 11 and be like okay now we're going to watch harry potter and now we're going to go to harry potter and by then, and then all three your daughter will, can't no, no, she has to stay. Uh, she can't go. She's not eleven. She's not eleven. Like, sorry, you're not eleven. Like, just look like over the, the portal and be just like, like on the movies. What are they doing? Like, like you're Jenny. I'm sorry, yeah, you're Jenny. You're Jenny. You can't Jenny. go. You're, <laughs> you're, you're going to drive enough. to the airport, and I'm going. Sorry, you got to stay here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you put her in the mean? glass thing with the the fake uh, guy that's the tourist or whatever. <laughs> that's like a mannequin it looks the wax figure looks really real in the in the airport <laughs> oh <laughs> <God>. <laughs> but i mean that's something that we couldn't do when we were a kid yeah like we couldn't be like mm-hmm. of course we're old i mean harry, we weren't harry potter wasn't out when we were a kid um we couldn't like read a book series or watch a movie series and then go to it but I mean, that's so cool that yeah, like there was no I mean, ample double game. You could, yeah. <laughs> you could go to um, Dollywood and live like Little House on the Prairie, kind yeah. of, you know. I mean, if, if, I got, if I tried to get it like in a boxcar with the boxcar children, <laughs> that, you know that wasn't I mean? going to be good. That wasn't going to be good. I just think it's cool that there is like, yes, we whether you have your kid read the <laughs> books or watch the movies or both and then be like, yeah, hey, do you, you want to go, go there? I'd be like, no, it's like, it's not real. I'd be like, no, it's real. Let's go. <laughs> the only thing is that, you know, kids are getting like, oh, I feel like kids are growing up faster than when we were right. a kid. So I feel like if I go. wait till 11, they're going to be like, I'm, I'm too cool for Harry Potter. Well, it wouldn't, su- <laughs> it's not surprising anymore too, right? It's, it, yeah. our kids have been to Disney World a bunch of times and they know what it looks like and what to expect. And we say, there's this new world coming. It's like, oh, that's cool. But it's not like, <laughs> Wow. Like I play the, uh, when I get a chance to, which I don't often, the, the Hogwarts legacy game. Mm. And there there was one night I was playing it and the kids were asleep. And then I hear, um, pitter patter feet open the door. And it's my son. He's like, what's going on in here? (laughs) I'm like, I'm playing a game. He goes, I keep hearing Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. <laughs> like, What's Revelio? <laughs> because you're on the game, <laughs> on the game, yeah, you're not living with. Yep, on the game, when you want to find stuff, you have to cast Revelio, and then it'll make stuff appear. So you have to do it like all the time. <laughs> so you're just walking around going Revelio, Revelio. So then he saw, he like looked on the screen, he's like, "Oh, keep playing." So I played for a few minutes just so he could see it. He's like, "This is so cool." Like this is cool. Keep playing. This is cool. <laughs> but they did go. Do you just walk around a lot? Like you find anything? <laughs> what do you actually do in this game? Yeah. And then I went and fought some. I fought some like dark wizards or something. Yeah. He's like, oh, that's cool. So I, yeah. And then like they get these Kinder eggs, you know, yeah. those little mm-hmm. candy things. And right now the Kinder eggs, when you get 
those that comes with a Harry Potter toy. Oh. So it's like a Harry Potter, little tiny Harry Potter, Potter Funko looking thing. There you go. Um, so they got some and they were like, my daughter opened hers. She's like, and they don't really know much about Harry Potter. But she's like, I got Harry. I got Harry Potter. And then my son opened his. He's like, who's this lady? <laughs> he's like, do you want to trade to, to for Harry? And, and when I was like, I don't know who that is. So like, oh, that's McGonagall. And, and they're like, who? <laughs> and then they opened another one and it was Dumbledore. And they're like, who's this guy with a beard? Who's this dumb? Geezer. It's like Gandalf. It's Gandalf. like, that's Dumbledore. Gandalf. He's like the <laughs> headmaster of Hogwarts. And they're like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so they're starting to understand a little bit what it is. And um, so I don't know if I'll be able to wait till he's 11 or not. <laughs> he dies later. Yeah. Um, I feel like, I feel like to attend. Like, I feel like 10 would be a good, like, age. Like, why couldn't yeah. Harry go to 10? Well, I mean, I mean, you could, I mean, if you wanted to do, like, start at 10 and yeah. then watch the actually movies go over the course of a year, yeah. and then the yeah. next year actually go. Yeah. Right. You got to start now. Start, I just start right now. I'm going to wake him I up mean, right wake now. wake him up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like watching it. Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't think my daughter could watch Harry Potter now, especially because um, in the first one, um, you have a certain animal that scares her hmm. snake. Like if you oh, she needs to get over that. So. Like, in the first one? <laughs> is that the first one? No, that's no, no, the that's second, the second one. That's the second I one. thought he talks it's... to the snake. Well, the he, he does talk to a snake, but no, I mean, no, it's just, I'm... it's brief. But here's the thing. If she sees one, she freaks oh. out. So I'm well, just so that's out of room life. for that part. I guess. <laughs> um, and really, the second one is not necessarily a snake. It's a basilisk. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we were walking through Five Below today, and there was a toy, <laughs> there, and she like freaked out and ran. She's like, it's she, like she'll be like, "Don't say the S word," and I'm like, At first I was like, "Yeah, you don't <laughs> say the S word." Which what S word are you <laughs> talking about? Sandwich. Like, you know the S N A K E. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Don't say it. We won't say it. Like, shoot, it's just a snake. It's not something else. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> that you've learned. <laughs> she would we not. Don't say, we don't say the S word right here. She would not like the video that I watched today that uh, this guy around his uh, property has laid down all these long pieces of metal, like sheets of metal on the ground. And he'll go and open them up occasionally to see what snakes are oh, under there. Oh, and he'll no, just no. like grab them and like this. And unless it's like a poisonous <laughs> snake but, no, no, or no. venomous, I'm sorry, not poisonous, <laughs> venomous. Snake. Did you see, uh, we're getting off track, but did you see yes. the video of the girl who's guinea t- pig? She was looking for a guinea pig in the backyard and it was in the bush. <laughs> And a snake had gotten hold of it. <laughs> so she picked up the tail. She picked up the tail of the snake and started swinging it around. Yes. The guinea pig was on the end of it, swinging around. <laughs> and she's screaming the whole time. <laughs> and then the dad runs out, like grabs it, and the guinea pig runs off. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and she was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. I was like, well, that, I mean, the girl was screaming, but I was like, that's a brave little girl. She like, she wanted her guinea pig safe, but it was yeah. so, because it's just long snake and, and the guinea pig is in its mouth and it's just swinging. No. <laughs> around like oh, a lasso. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. It's just screaming. Oh. And I was like, and the dog, there's a big poodle and it's just sitting there like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Look it up. I, just look it up. I don't know how you would Google that. Like <laughs> guinea pig snake, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure in Instagram want... or something you can probably find it. I'm sure somebody's got it there. Or right. yeah, so that's Epic Universe. I think it's going to be epic. Um, it says 2025. Okay, let's give our guesstimations. When in 2025 do you think it will open? I mean, if. If they were trying to get the most amount of people in there and most excitement about it, they'll it'll be in the summer, like in May or something like that. But that doesn't seem I don't know. It seems like they've got a ways to go, maybe. Go I don't know. They do they, they they do things a lot quicker though. They so do like, things a lot quicker. Less yeah. stringent. End of August. Um, End of August. Uh, I guess they've already started, you know, testing yeah. some of the rides. Yeah. End of August sounds good. I was listening to a podcast and they said their guess was spring break. And I was like, Wow. Wow, that's like a year I mean, from that, now. Yeah, that's a year from now. I mean, I keep forgetting it's only 
February, right? Yeah. February. So that'd be like get everything done and ready yeah. in a year. Yeah. I mean, they've, I mean, they've that would make quickly. the most sense for them, like financially. Sure. Yeah. Get it open by mm-hmm. spring break and then you'd have spring break money, <clears throat> summer money. We'll see. But it could be like Disney and it could be December 31st. <laughs> Is it still 2025? <laughs> yep. Because that's what they did with um, Moana water thing, I think. They said coming in November 2023, and it opened the last day of November. That was just water shooting out of stuff. I know. Disney's slow. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, speaking of Disney, Country Bears closed down to revamp, to put in... Disney friendly songs. And to they weren't already of, and to get rid of liver lips, basically. No. Um, yeah, there will be no more blood on the saddle. The last day I watched a video and there were people going like all day long, just over and over and over again. And then the last show, the very last show, it breaks down. It doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, so they let people just sort of wander around in there and look at and the game posters. So that's opening back up. Tiana's, what's it called? I don't ever remember the name of it. Tiana's Ice. water. No, I don't agree. <laughs> Tiana's not Splash Mountain Adventure. Um, has water in it now. IU Adventure, right? IU yeah. Adventure. I knew there was a venture in there, but I couldn't remember what the second word was. Um, has water in it. Yeah. So that's late 2024. Along. Yeah. So it'll be <laughs> December 31st. Yes. <laughs> 2024. I think they said maybe November. Uh, uh, just, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> it's cold out and no one goes on the water slide. Yeah. Pretty or, much. Or we don't Need have to open. worry about it. No, it's still <laughs> um, warm then. That's the thing is like it really doesn't get cold yeah. until maybe late December, January. Mm-hmm. Right. Then it's cold for a little bit. And then 1900 Park Fair is reopening. That's the rest, the character restaurant hmm. at Grand Floridian with new characters. Oh. So it'll be like Maybe. Aladdin. Oh. Mm. He's not uh, Maribel. And what? some other ones. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Is it like fancy Aladdin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually, yeah. It's going to be his <laughs> oh, Prince, Ali, Prince Ali outfit. There you go. Oh, well, wow. fancy. Fancy. But yeah, before we went, and, and it was like Cinderella, the Ugly Stepsisters, and Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins right. stuff like that. Yeah. It made sense. Yeah, at the Grand Floridian. Yeah. So now it's going to be Mirabel and Prince Ali. Mighty is he, Ali? Well, I mean, no shoes, no shirt, no service. So he's got to. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to go. He's got to go. Yeah. And so that's opening up. Um. Uh, there's not much more Disney. They said they're going to spend billions of dollars. Yes. We'll see. There, there, I don't... there is one more piece of news we did not discuss, oh. and it has to do with Epic. Oh. oh no. So yes. Disney is buying into the oh, Epic video Games. game maker, <laughs> Epic Games, <laughs> as a response probably to <laughs> Epic Universe. I don't know. Just so when people <laughs> search for Epic, they find Disney too. I, I'm sure that's part of it. But they're going to do some stuff with oh, Fortnite, yeah. it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> My concern is goodbye Epic Games. Because every time Disney has bought video game stuff, it doesn't last long. We don't have to get into video game stuff, um, but <laughs> but they like because they got Club Penguin gone. They bought um, some other gaming thing. It like shut it down. They had Disney Infinity, and it was fun. Oh, and they're like, "Yeah, so let's Infinity. not do that." Anymore. I love Disney Infinity. They're like, "Yeah, let's not do that anymore." So now I feel like Fortnite maybe on the chopping block. They buy it and they're like, "Well, it's hard to believe. never mind." I don't think. I don't know. I, I guess there, it's really not a whole lot of information. They just bought stake yeah. in it. So they're investing well, the into it. To put stake, their stuff in it. So to bring properties like Star Wars, Marvel, and it says Avatar. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> uh, which that makes sense. I mean, it could putting be cool. Disney things in there. I, I don't, it's, it's not like they're taking it over. I think they're just mm, buying part of it. I think they're buying the majority of it, though. It, it's a, well, it's $1.5 billion stake yeah. into it, I, which is crazy. 
Yeah, some people are saying, well, I guess Fortnite, well, probably the first thing to go will be Fortnite being free. You'll probably have to pay for it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a free download. Well, that's, that's for the ad free version. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm saying a... it's not only video, like you can play, you can shop. I'm like, yeah. oh, great. You can yeah. <laughs> maybe, you know, like. So I had an ad the other night in a video game. There's this oh. basketball game that I play. And when you're waiting for the game to load, it has these little videos and it's, uh, they're just talking about people in the community playing the 2K NBA game, right? And they show these videos of people playing. Well, mm-hmm. at one point they played a Sour Patch Kids or whatever that, the candy like commercial <laughs> on there. I was like, I paid for this game already. I don't need this. You know? <laughs> and I've, uh, only every once in a while, it's like it's not every time I play. It's just like every once in a while, this ad pops up. I'm just like, what in the world? It's like at the gas station, we're trying to pump gas. And yeah, commercials yeah. keep popping up on the screen. You're like, I'm just trying to get gas. I just want gas. <laughs> don't need to talk to me at all. Well, in LA, they got TVs. It just they have a they have like a, a gas station channel. Oh yeah, oh that's. Uh, Oh, that's they have the security it here too. cameras. Oh, they got there too. Okay. They have like wet, like you can click on yeah. the weather, you can click on yeah, tra- uh, traffic, <laughs> or you could, or you could. The funniest thing is, it's an HEB. It's got the nobody cares about this, but it's got like advertisements for like get a cold beverage. Yeah, but it's yeah. there's no place to. It says go in and get a cold beverage, but right. there's no place to go in and get a cold beverage <laughs> there because it's like you just pay at the pump or you go up and get lottery tickets from the lady in the little they booth. Have cold drinks there. Usually, maybe you know, it's like go inside, get some cold beverage. It's like there's no place to get cold beverages. Go inside. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so I'm sure there's some probably some other Disney stuff that we're missing. Did we say Moana too? Did we? Did yeah, we it's a movie. Yeah, there's supposedly a Moana yeah. two movie coming out. Moana two. They're doing another Toy Story movie, which is the uh, the one time uh, I'm I'm just not looking forward to another Toy Story movie. Like they, the, the, the yeah. Frozen movie. The, the last Toy Story, just like, just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. I think the only, if they did Toy Story 5 like Tim Allen wanted to do it, I'd be up for it. Sure. Because he did an interview and he was like, you know, if you're doing another one, like I, I heard they're, we're doing another one or whatever, he goes, it should be about Andy growing up and his kids, getting these toys for his kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's your movie, but they won't do that. I won't do. There'll be some other carnival thing. <laughs> <laughs> More toys are taken to the carnival and die. <laughs> we don't care about the kids anymore. Talk about that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there we go. I think that's mm-hmm. that's it. That's that's our epic episode. So epic. <laughs> Push that button. <laughs> Epic. So epic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll leave you with this. Uh, Survivor, I haven't watched in years, is coming back mm. at the end of February, and I know somebody that's going to be on the show. Wow. Ooh. I know a Survivor. Liz mm. Wilcox. So if you watch Survivor, cheer for Liz. Who knows if she, I don't mean, I don't know if she wins or not. She just she just bought like three houses. So uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny she's at a she does a conference i was at and uh at the conference she's like yeah this is before we knew she was on survivor but that she was going to be on the next one she goes yeah i just bought a house moved in this last week in orlando and i'm like i did that i did and then it was announced that she was going to be on the show and i was like did she win is that why she bought a house <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so she's going to be on the next one. So I'm looking, I haven't watched Survivor in years, but I guess I need to watch this season. Yeah, at least for as long as she's on the show. Yeah, it could be like one episode. You know, you never know with Survivor. <laughs> yeah. You never know. You That's know. why they play the game. Yes. Yes. Anyways. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on I Am Geek. We'll be back with some <coughs> special guests next time. And in between weeks, check us out on Living with the Land Speeder, where we Star Wars find Disney Parks one attraction at a time. It's a blast. We have fun. And check out I Am Geek Shop on Etsy. Where are your all of your Kyber Crystal needs? Because you know you need them yes. for your uh, your lightsabers. Anyways, all right. We'll talk to you next time on I Am Geek. 
Bye-bye.